MnDOT is continuing their public discussion about mowing and hang on right, state right of way. Sarah Winkleman was at the session in Baxter tonight and joins us live in the Brainerd studio now with the details. Sarah. Thanks, Dennis. Tonight's session focused on the new permitting process that will soon be required for mowing on state right of way. During the session, MnDOT took questions, comments, and suggestions to help form a recommendation. MnDOT has formed a mowing and haying state right-of-way stakeholder group that will take all of the input gathered from the several public comment sessions held throughout the state. These changes are due to the legislature at the beginning of the session and um, that's what the working group is working on and this input helps to um, inform those decisions that we make for recommendations. Depending on the region, many different uses for state right-of-ways were discussed, including safety, preservation of habitat, quality food for livestock, and vegetation management. Those different uses are quite valid, so we need to try to figure out a way to do something that will give everybody some, at least some of what they want, and the best way to figure out what they want is to ask them. But tonight in Baxter, the hot topic was all about the permits and what to expect in the future. That's a requirement that's in place by state statute. And then we have a permitting process that we're trying to make more workable for folks so that they do indeed come in, get a permit that keeps that line of communication open so MnDOT knows who's in a right of way and when, what they're doing. For some, including farmers, the idea of adding a permit with an additional cost of a performance bond is worrisome. Unfortunately, it doesn't work in farmer and rancher schedules. So permits are burdensome and cumbersome. But MnDOT is hoping to find that balance that works for the state and for those who own property along the right of way. So we are a big landowner and uh, it is uh, incumbent upon us to manage that well. MnDOT is in charge of about 175,000 acres of green space right of way. We're actually doing the DOT a public service by saving them costs on mowing the road ditches themselves. For those that could not attend the session tonight but would still like to give input can leave a public comment on MnDOT's website. Dennis? All right, thank you very much, Sarah, for that live report from our Brainerd studio. Just a reminder that mowing and haying permits are only for state highways, not city townships or county roads. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.